So the 17 round 450 championship is in the past. I wrapped it up yesterday in yesterday's video playing as James Stewart. I was crowned that king and I have no complaints. Of course, that does open up a ton of options for videos within Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game number three. I don't have my next career mode planned or anything just yet. Of course, if you guys do have any suggestions or anything for that, let me know in the comments below. But it does open up a ton of options for videos and here today we're gonna hop in and check out some custom tracks no loading into qualifying no main events no 20 second head start challenges just some custom track chaos carnage fun it's gonna be a good time we're gonna start off with said with four d's g vera 615 hit me up on insta told me to check out this track so here we are let's get into the video Alright guys, so here we go, said from the man Gabriel. Let's hop in, let's check it out, and I'm not sure what's going on with these tough blocks. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments, but I have never seen these Tron looking obstacles before. Even the finish line over there is looking kind of funky. Um, yeah, I, I haven't seen that before, but... Cool, let's check out this custom track, see what it has to offer. Okay, cool. Funky section right there, I didn't really expect that, but I like it. Little old triple right there. Let's have some fun on this track. Do you think we can make it onto that table? I feel like that might be the fast line, the big boy line, if you can stretch that one out. Some sand right here. I'm going to see if I can find a flow here on this track. Just going to have some fun in Time Attack, of course. If you guys do have a track that you want me to check out, let me know in the comments but below. I am off track. As of right now, I am on Xbox, and I did just pick the game up on PC. So I know PC is probably the smallest community out of Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. It's probably the smallest one, but I love PC gaming, so... Picked it up on PC, and I'm only excluding the PlayStation boys. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have a track, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll check it out. Other than that, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. If you do enjoy, at any point in time, guys, smash that thumbs up button for me. Show the love. Check out all of the links in the description. And we are flowing here in Supercross. I wonder... Choke up, slow up, land on that table. I wonder if that's a line. I don't think so. That's going to be the tricky section of the track. For the most part, it is pretty one line so far. Super fun and a ton of different sections going on. This section jumping into the sand. Super slow drive through there. And kind of like a wall into this corner. Like a ton of different things going on so far on this track. And I approve... This kind of up-down whoop section, I like it. A ton of variety. And so far, I'm impressed with the work of the man Gabriel. I think the track does have a decent variety to it. It kind of starts off fairly easy, fairly simple. Just a couple doubles after the finish line. Kind of a roller type whoop section there. Just a little double that I'm gonna case as I'm trying to show how easy it is. Just a little double-double right there. I do find that this corner not specifically on this track, but on every track that it's used on, it's funky to hit. The berm wants to kind of like suck you into it. And yeah, I don't know how I feel about those sweepers, but this section is pretty open, not a lot going on. It would be nice if something spawned in, in that corner to show you like, okay, you have to turn around this pylon or something like that. But I guess the developers don't have that in the game. And that is a crash. Of course, up and over the tunnel jump and then into the sand, which is a nice twist. And it's a pretty long sand section into this 90 corner. And then you're in to kind of some sand rollers here in this section. Like I said before, a little wall into the corner. And man, I approve of this track. You could have a ton of fun on this track. I wonder how the AI do. I feel like the AI could probably actually run some decent laps on this track so it would be interesting to see 
Maybe I will do it in a future video, but let's go. The final attempt at a decent lap here on said. Into this corner. Don't mess up this double this time. There we go. It is a small double, the first one. And the second one. The second one's even smaller, but get through that sweeper just as quick as I can. Lock up the brakes coming into this corner. Flow through there nice. We can just drive right into the berm here and then this corner. Yeah, it would be nice. I mean, it's not the track creator's fault. I'm talking to Milestone here. <laughs> would be nice if something spawned in there just to be like, hey, you got to turn around, you know, this pylon or this marker or something. Hopefully that does make sense. That might be a line. Kind of a line in between the two lines that I was trying to hit, but I don't know. That's a tricky section. I'm sure there probably is one line that works better than all the rest. So far, my lap time is a 119.080. Not sure if I'm actually going to beat it this lap or not. We only have this pretty cool whoop section and this corner left and I am going to beat it. So that was my fastest lap so far on this track. Cool. I approve. Super fun track. Super unique. Ton of stuff going on. Variety, man. Variety is key. Everything 175 by the man Chacopo 175. I probably did not say that right, but that's the next track on the list. And I mean, look at it. It looks like death in a picture. Death in a supercross track right there. Oh my goodness. A bunch of switchbacks, 180s, zigzags, a lot of stuff going on. A gnarly sand section it looks like. A bunch of sand sections actually. This is gonna be a fun track. So up and over the finish line we are going to land and get through this whoop section. Let's run a good lap right here right now. I wonder if I quad quad would that be the line so kind of a case through there but i will take it i bet you i could quad triple or quad quad in that section if i just committed in the corner it's kind of weird these berms if you're not on the gas you don't really want to turn you kind of have to use your power use the power of the bike to steer yourself through the berms which i've never felt before on custom tracks so i don't know what's going on there but maybe maybe it's just me even on the last track it felt funky i thought i was on standard physics but i'm not I, I i don't know it just feels weird it feels like my bike doesn't want to turn when i get into those berms so this track having a lot of berms that might be uh kind of problematic <laughs> but these s bend sections i did think they were a lot more tight in the preview image they are pretty wide open and you can get a nice flow through them but why does my guy just like not want to turn i am so confused man the handling feels beyond funky maybe it's this bike i've never ridden this bike before but i couldn't see i couldn't see it handling that different from all of the other bikes Re like really because it handles funky if it does. <laughs> I was on a different bike on the last track though and my cornering even felt kind of funky there too. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just going with the flow and ru ruining these sections. So everything 175, I gotta say it is a pretty fun track. There's a lot going on. If you wanna hit a decent lap, you got you got to spend some time on the track and actually memorize it. I think long tracks can be fun, but I'm personally not a huge fan of super long tracks. I do like a nice flowing supercross track. Of course, this track does feel pretty tight with all of the corners. You don't really get up to speed very often and wow, I OJ that jump right over the berm this lap. <laughs> So I do think for the most part, it does come down to personal preference. If you like short tracks or long tracks, whatever it may be, you can hop in and have some fun here on everything 175. I want to say that it is a fairly easy track, like the rhythms, they're just triple, triple, double. You don't really have to worry about hitting a super clean line. Shred the sand section turn here and we are just going to flow a super cross triple. And I think that's one good thing. If the rhythms were crazy, if we were having to time every section that we came across, I do think it would just be a little bit too much and it would actually be really difficult 
to learn the entire track and it probably wouldn't be enjoyable so this track is super long and i know i keep messing up man i keep i'm just riding like a goon the goon moments are striking but since the sections are pretty easy and not super difficult you know a bunch of whoops sand sections triple jumps and nothing really that requires a bunch of technicality or timing or anything like that i think that's that's good because like i said this long of a track it would take forever to learn all those lines but a super fun track i feel like i could get lost on this track and just spend hours here crashing i guess i guess i'm just gonna crash the whole time the final track for this episode the treasury from tb roadrunner 15 let's load in let's check it out let's see what it has to offer and hopefully three good tracks for this video it looks pretty sweet from the preview image obviously this image isn't the preview image this looks like daytona a real life image of daytona kind of with like filters on it i'm not sure why they don't actually use an image from the custom track that you're playing i wonder how hard it would have been for them to use the preview image that you look at in the custom track browser as the loading screen that would have been pretty cool this is the treasury of course a finish line double let's see what this track has to offer gnarly dragons back right there okay i've seen that obstacle a few times so it makes me wonder i should know but it makes me wonder if it is just an obstacle within the track editor through there some sand in that dragon's back type section kind of throws you off off of your flow you got to try and carry your speed and then carry your speed into these whoops so kind of like a washboard whoop section and am i just gonna get sketchy here on this track too is it time to call it a day <laughs> oh man all right looks like a dragon's back if you hit it right it'd be a dragon's back into a jump after the start straight wow this section looks gnarly like wild obviously through there i i messed up both of those rhythms like in many more ways than one all right another one of these elevated corners which i really do like i love it when the tracks go up into the stands and oh man i timed that perfect that was totally just luck but that was pretty sweet. The sand corner here. Get on the gas and we can jump onto that table. Off of the table. And are we heading to the finish line? Oh, kind of dips down there. Under the over under. And that is a lot. This is a track that's more my, my style. You know, more my length. Of course, still a lot going on. We got sand. We got a bunch of different rhythms. Some bigger jumps some more technical sections and i think once i learn a flow this track's gonna be a ton of fun big old triple there see if i can once again carry some speed into these whoops and it might be good to slow up early so that i don't absolutely die <laughs> in that section and oh what am i doing <laughs> i wonder what you can do through here oh just quad single into the corner use that as a berm triple double out uh, see i thought double triple would have been the line but if you can hit it like that i'm not sure if he intended if the track creator intended you to hit it like that but it worked and i knew it was just luck me timing that section so good last lap it was just luck and i'll probably over jump it send it to the moon every time i hit that section from here on out this section's cool i haven't seen a pool used underneath of an over under like that before and it kind of caught me off guard the first time i hit it but i like it this track is fun really really fast paced that sand section definitely slows you up and i think that's a pretty cool aspect of this track is there's a lot going on and i feel like the sand is thrown in at like the perfect times to make you choke up and keep you on your toes now I do want to once again choke up early and yeah those two small whoops at the end can send you for a wild ride now I was a gear too high I think if I was in second gear I would have made it through that section pretty clean and wow the quad is tough a pretty fun track let's go ahead and give it one more lap here to end off the video try and run 
a clean lap. So far, 126. 3, 2, 1 is my fast lap. I think, I think I know. I know I can beat that. Not by doing that, though. Not by getting sketchy in that section. That's not gonna cut it. So, one more final attempt. Whatever happens on this lap, happens. Let's try and keep the flow alive, though. No mistakes early on on this lap, all right? Flow through here. Should be able to easily get up onto this table this time. There we go. That's what it, that's what I tried to do last lap, but clearly struggled to do so. Struggled to pull through. Get into the whoops and just... Oh my goodness. That's how, that's how it's gonna go. That's how it's gonna go. You guys are probably like, what? What just happened? My thumb literally slipped off the analog stick. Off the joystick and hit the D-pad and changed my camera. I went into full panic mode and blew the corner. The goon lock. <laughs> For the third time, one final attempt here on this track. Let's see if I can... I, I give up. I think I give up. So maybe the fourth time through here is going to be the charm. I am determined to at least make it around this track one more time without going down. Without messing up. I am literally determined on the gas in triple T. Oh my goodness, I messed it up. I think I'm cursed. Do I just go with the flow and see what happens? I'm gonna go with the flow. Obviously, this is not going to be a hot lap, but just to end it off, one more lap here on this track. And that is going to be the video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. I do plan on doing more custom track stuff here going on into the future maybe i will start a custom track series i do want to try and think of something fun to do within the series i know a lot of people have suggested do like a does your track suck series but shout out to windham i don't want to copy his idea i know there there's literally only so many things you can do when making youtube videos about like the same game um, but I don't think I'm gonna make a series based off of something that someone else has already done so so I don't know I do want to do a custom track series but I don't want to just copy Wyndham and does your track suck so I'm gonna try to think of something custom tracks man they are a ton of fun of course if I did have to rank the tracks we are checking out today should I make it a competition I feel bad man 2020 the world we live in like no one wants to compete no one wants to be hurt finding out that their track was worse than someone else's but I feel like we should do it now of course all three tracks were a ton of fun but if I did have to rank them let's just say they were all really well made all right no hate to any of the creators but I think the treasury would have to come in at my top spot this track was a ton of fun it had a super fast super fun flow to it said probably came in in p2 it was once again super fast super fun super flowy and i think it might have to do with the length of the third track everything 175 was fun it was unique it had a ton of stuff going on a bunch of different sections but it was just a really really long track and i feel like that came into play it's just personal preference like i said all three tracks really well done worth the time to go check them out if you guys are on xbox i will leave track names and credit to the track creators down below in the description and that's where we're ending it peace out guys Thank you